Hi there, I'm Alicia Malone and our star for this month is John Garfield, the method actor known for his tough guy roles. Tonight we've seen him as a Marine and a Navy soldier and now we're going to watch him as a member of the Air Force. Directed by Howard Hawks, it's Air Force from 1943. This is based on a true story about a B-17 flight crew who are on their way to Hawaii when Pearl Harbor is suddenly attacked. Hawks had served in the Army Air Corps during the First World War and something that he wanted to focus on here was the teamwork that was required to successfully fly and navigate these planes. So for that reason, Hawks didn't want to cast any established star names because he didn't want any single person to stand out. But you will recognise actors like Arthur Kennedy and Gig Young, who are at the start of their careers, and Harry Carey Sr., who was nearing the end of his. John Garfield was a star at Warner Brothers, but he also really wanted to make this film, so he asked Hawks for the role. And it does fit into his persona to play a moody, jaded outsider who has a bigger heart than you may expect. From 1943, this is Air Force. The true story behind Air Force was filled with drama, so director Howard Hawks and screenwriter Dudley Nichols had a tough time figuring out what they could keep. They came up with a system involving coloured tags. If a historical scene was necessary, it would get a red tag. If a fictional scene was needed, it would get a different colour and so forth. And then they could stand back and visually see if there was enough of a mixture of elements that would make this a cinematic experience. But for the censors, they did have to get rid of any coarse language. John Garfield was happy to be part of this film, and during World War II, he tried to help out the war effort as much as he could. He became an entertainer for the troops, travelling to Italy to visit with Allied forces. And throughout the 1940s and 50s, Garfield also returned to the stage, where one of his most interesting roles was in the 1949 debut production of The Big Knife, directed by Lee Strasberg and written by Clifford Odets. Next, we have another of John Garfield's war films where he co-stars with Maureen O'Hara.